What's up guys? Welcome back to World of Guns, Gun Disassembly, and today we're going to look at the, the Intratec Tech 9. The Tech 9 was introduced in 1985 from Interdynamic Corporation, I think it was. Yeah, Interdynamic AB. And the designer was George Kelgren. He's an interesting chap. So let's get this started. These are very simple guns. They run on what's called the blowback principle. And what that means is that the bolt runs in this tube just back and forth. There's, there's nothing to lock the bolt forward like you get on a pistol or anything else. It just uses the weight. You get the magazine apart. There we go. And pull this push pin. Zoom out. And then the tube should come off. The cocking knob also doubles as the uh, safety on these. Going to the back. This slot, according to the Tech 9 manual, is so that you can put a pin, or pin, a coin or something in there to twist the cap off. Take the rubber buffer off. The recoil spring and guide. George Kelgren is pretty renowned as a guy who likes to make cheap guns. The Tech 9 was really cheap, and, uh, well, Frankly, the Tech 9 was pretty crap, I'm not gonna lie. I shot one and I could hardly hit a pond. No, you wanna take the mag catch out, okay. But anyway, George Kelgren really likes cheap pistols. So much so that he is now, um, well, after Intertech, he started a uh, another company called, I think it was Grendel. And then after that, oh, that was my cat. They're in a fight. Um, after Intertech and Grendel, he created what we now call Caltech. They've all been based in Miami, Florida, but this time around, I think George Kelgren's doing a lot better, not using money he doesn't have to support projects. A lot better for business, so much so that as far as count goes, Caltech's one of the biggest uh, firearms makers in the U.S. And he all owes his lineage to the Tech 9. Not exactly a uh, mark I'd like to have on my life, but to each their own. together and the uh, all the trigger parts in a tech nine are stamped <laughs> that's interesting it says model AB10 the AB10 was an attempt to make a uh, a post Clinton ban Tech 9, essentially.
but the AB10 did not have this shroud as having a threaded barrel, which the original barrel came out to bite here. And then there was threads here that held on the shroud and the barrel extension. And then from there, there'd be another barrel extension about to here. So yeah, that's a, a Tech 9 upper on a AB10 lower. Interesting. I don't know if the designer figured nobody would notice or what have you. Alright guys, that's the Tech 9 in World of Guns. This is Desert D. Deagleton signing off. Till next time, guys.